شهر فيه يوم أفضل من كل الأيام أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجه وآله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين المنتجبين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتاب الحكيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون Today is the 10th of Ramadan al-Mubarak and today I'm going to talk about the impact of the month of Ramadan and the fasting on our society. Yes, it has a great impact. Really the month of Ramadan, it changed an individual. It changed the family. It changed the society. Indeed, if really we realize and understand the month of Ramadan and the value of month of Ramadan as came in the hadith people they wish they desire to the entire year supposed to be the month of Ramadan understand so impact on the society people they are helping each other You can see the mosque are full, congregational prayer. People, they invite their families, family friends and their relatives. So there is an impact on the society. You know, Islam always emphasize about the Salatul Rahm, about the charity, about the helping poor people. So again, one sentence I have chosen and selected for today from the khutbah of Rasulullah on the last Friday of the month of Ramadan. Du'aytum ila ziyafatillah. One part it was explained before. You have been invited by him. On his dasarhan, on his sofa, on his table of food. What table of the food? The, the chicken and kebab and rice and the biryani and the samosa and pakora. No. Yes, it is also. But the food of thought, awareness. Ma'arifat of Allah and the Rasul and Imam. So Rasulullah said, Silu arhamakum. In this month, what he said? Silu arham. Visit your family members. See, while you are planning food, you start from your family. Charity start from your family. Do you know that the Silu arham, the result of the Silu arham, what is the result of the Silu arham? It increase your risk, increase your life, give barakah, make your death easier, comfort in the qawr, enlighten the qawr, causes for the maghfirah. If someone has break the relation, what happened? All punishment is started. Limitation and risk. Shortness of the life, difficult death, and discomfort and the punishment in the Qabr. Then Rasulullah said, Tasaddaq wa la fuqaraikum wa hasakinikum. You sadaqa. To your fakir, to your poor people in the masakin. 
okay parents relatives poor people then waqiru kibarikum warhamu sagarakum you respect to your elders month of ramadan i am observing fast but it's very hard this year so what have been getting angry on mother getting angry on wife getting angry on child ya allah what the benefit of this fast day so be kind with the people warhamu sagarakum be kind with your children and there is a hadith in the context of this khutbah Rasulullah said laysa minna man lam yarham saghirana wa lam yuaqqir kabirana he is not my follower he is not my ummati he is no more muslim who does not care about their see who is not paying respect to his elders and who is not kind with the younger one last but not least be connected fourth imam he said see pay respect to the older one why because they are older to you they perform more ibadat than you you respect to the younger one they are younger than you so that means they committed sin lesser than you you respect to the someone who is equal in the age why have the husnazan think positive about your brother assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh